Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And facing him here is this man, Alexander Usyk, six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. Oh, pure bad blood. Looks like we're ready to go here. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at 6 feet 9 inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Oh, God, I love this place. The atmosphere is second to none. If you get the right fights, you've got fun all night. Good luck. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. So much for boxing, this is a fight. <laughs> Got him with a clean right uppercut. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. You have certain This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And now they're right back into the fray. And that's the changes from both men in this round. Bottom with a left hook. Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Right punch. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The action is second to one. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Tyson Fury 
just got rocked. Do you believe this? This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. There's the bell for round two. Time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great wind IQ. Counter punches are the best. Looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. These two fighters promised us great action. They didn't give it to us in that round. Just a little fight time and that's all it was. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. 
I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Play! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Tyson Fury just got bumped. Down goes Fury. Without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. Then there's the bell to start round four. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Punch. Nice veteran move here to hold on to his opponent to slow down the momentum. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood cut. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Jazz. Nice punch. A very competitive round with ten seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's going to do his fight right. He's going to judge us right. He's going to do his job right. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump or feel it and he'll ride it out. Go out there and finish it. Body in it. Be smart. Change your angles. Go out there and finish it. He's ready.
Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you are not thinking. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket them. And there you have it. Lights out. Down he goes. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. And knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm 